it's been a while I am sorry it's been crazy busy um, and I haven't been able to vlog about my jobs and things like that so it's been yeah <laughs> but some of you will be glad to know because I know some of you love me as a GP nurse for some reason um, I'm going back to GP I know I've been out of GP say hello to Isaac uh, I've been out of GP uh, for two years, uh, but I've kept up with all my skills for GP, so things like observations, bloods, uh, examinations, uh, cervical swabs, things like that, I've, I've still been doing, so I've still managed to maintain those skills, thankfully. Um, I've just done my cervical screening update and things like that, so yeah. Um, but the reason why I'm vlogging today is I start on Monday, today is Wednesday, I've just been into my new clinic and picked up my uniform so I thought let's try it on and show you take you on my journey like before let's get excited about this are you ready don't judge my attire Ta -da! here we go nurse claire is activated it's a bit spacious but it's okay i like a spacious uniform it's not a fashion show. I keep telling people this. It's not a fashion show. Do you approve, Isaac? Yeah? Okay. Um, it's not a fashion show. I'd rather be comfortable at work and be able to move in my uniform above anything else. You know, I don't want something that's skinny fit and making my figure look good. I haven't got a figure. I'm straight up and down. So this is just great. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Oh, so excited to start again on Monday. But yeah, let's see how the next week goes. So I am a couple of weeks in. I haven't managed to vlog at all in the last couple of weeks. It's been so busy. But I have had the best two weeks at my new GP surgery and it just shows how it should be done. And it's not getting done like this out there. And this is why people go into GP, worry, get anxiety, panic and leave. Um, so for my two weeks that I've just had, I've had a whole induction plan given to me. I've, I can't show you the, the forms and things because it's got obviously personal information on and things like that. Um, but I can talk you through it. So uh, yeah, I was given two different packs, one from the manager, one from the nurse. Um, and the management one was all about the clinics, all about the surgery, contact information for all the doctors, the nurses, what rooms people are usually in, where to find equipment, um, fire safety, everything I need to know in this pack is there. So if I think to myself, oh, I don't know who does this, in the pack, it's there, I've got it. Um, and then on the nurse's side one is a whole nurse inside of pack. So things like, where's the resource stuff kept? Where's the dressings kept? Where's, um, I don't know, suture removal things kept? ECGs kept? Anything that I need to know where things are kept because that's the worst thing when you start somewhere new, you're like, I don't know where anything is all in this book um but also something that was amazing that i thought there's a breakdown sheet of things like different conditions have different blood tests different um, medications like methotrexate for example have different blood tests and they've put a little list of what bloods need to be done for what type of medication amazing I don't need to sit there scrolling through the whole of the a patient's notes and the patient's bloods to try and work out what sort of bloods that they need. I've got it. I've got the list. I mean, I have got my own little crib cards anyway from when I was a previous GP nurse, but someone who's maybe new to GP, something like that, that would be amazing um, to have. And this, this whole pack was just incredible. I thought it was amazing and a happy, happy days from me. Um, yeah, so for my two weeks, I've been shadowing everybody. Um, so I've been going with the phlebotomist team, the HCAs. I've gone with the paramedic that works there to see what she does, the diabetic specialist nurse. I've gone with the different nurses who work there just to see how everybody works together as a team and what everyone does and things like that. And obviously to get used to people as well. Um, so yeah, so it's been really, really nice to do that. And then yesterday, I had my very first clinic solo and it went okay. I felt way 
better than I have in any other clinic before and where I've just felt settled. The, the clinic, I've said this to the team, I said the clinic here makes me feel very, very much like the clinic I worked at in Portsmouth, which was a, oh, the best clinic ever with the nicest team, really supportive. And it was the same process, like they were so supportive, always checking in on you, things like that. Um, and it's the same vibe that I get from this clinic. And that's what you need from a GP surgery. I am going to do a completely separate video because I don't want this video to be too long for you all. Um, but I'm going to do a completely separate video on how to spot the good from the bad. I'm sorry, GPs. I'm going to give you out all of your, <laughs> give away all of your bad practices. Um, but it, yeah, I've worked in a, a really bad GP before where I wasn't supported, didn't get the right things in place, felt anxious daily, didn't feel safe. So I want to make sure that when you're looking for a role, the things to look for and the things that I've tried and tested and things like with this surgery in particular and um, there's certain things that I looked for in particular for for this role and it's gone in my favor and it's worked out well so I want to give you as much tips and advice how to find a really good GP and yeah things like that but I just want, wanted to update you and just say my first two weeks have been amazing my first clinic yesterday was amazing I had a whole combination of um, asthma clinics, diabetic clinics, cardiac clinics, they're, they're all just reviews that we do. Um, ECGs, bloods, I had a height and weight for um, a mental health sort of referral that was going on. Um, what else have I done? Dressings, um, vaccinations, B12s, smear tests, I had loads of smear tests yesterday. Um, I love doing the smear tests because it's just that satisfying thing that you're doing good and preventing um, potential cancer for the future. So I love doing the smear tests. Um, yeah, so I've had a whole range. Oh, HR HRT, that's something new to me actually. So I'd never really done HRT reviews before. Um, but they're a little bit like the contraception checks and pill checks and things like that that we do. So yeah, it was okay. But I had a really varied day yesterday. I'm in again today. I'm not in until half 12 till half five today. So it's my short day today. So I've got the morning. So I thought I'll do a little update, let you all know how it's going and things like that. But yeah, I'm going to do a separate video um, on what to look out for in GP, how to apply for GP. I have got some videos previously, but I've not done anything specifically on the things to specifically look for to find a good quality, supportive clinic, which I'm going to do next. Um, so watch out for that video. If you've got any other questions, if you've got anything you want me to discuss or talk about within GP, let me know in the comments below and I will get that done for you. But for now, goodbye. I'm super happy I'm back in GP land and yeah, my life is just perfect right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, have a good day everyone. Have a good weekend and I shall see you next time.